This is Cameron Fillers of GreenMedInfo.com bringing you the article, Six Bodily Tissues That Can Be Regenerated Through Nutrition. It may come as a surprise to some, especially those with conventional medical training, but the default state of the body is one of ceaseless regeneration. Without the flame-like process of continual cell turnover within the body, life and death ceaselessly intertwine the miracle of the human body would not exist. In times of illness, however, regenerative processes are overcome by degenerative ones. This is where medicine may perform its most noble feat, nudging the body back into balance with foods, herbs, nutrients, and healing energies. Today, however, drug-based medicine invariably uses chemicals that have not one iota of regenerative potential. To the contrary, they must always interfere with bodily self-renewal in order to suppress the symptoms against which they are applied. Despite the outright heretical nature of things which stimulate healing and regenerative vis-a-vis, the conventional medical system which frowns upon or is incredulous towards spontaneous remission in favor of symptom suppression and disease management. Over the course of the past few years of trolling Medline, we have collected a series of remarkable studies on the topic. Nerve Regeneration There are actually a broad range of natural compounds with proven nerve regenerative effects. A 2010 study published in the journal Rejuvenation Research, for instance, found a combination of blueberry, green tea, and carnosine have neurogenic and stem cell regenerative effects in an animal model of neurodegenerative disease. Other research neurogenic substances include curcumin, lion's mane mushroom, apigenin, blueberry, ginseng, huperzine, nato, red sage, resveratrol, royal jelly, theanine, ashwagandha, and coffee. There is another class of nerve healing substances known as remyelinating compounds, which stimulate the repair of the protective sheath around the axon of the neurons known as the myelin, and which is often damaged in neurological injury and or dysfunction, especially autoimmune and vaccine-induced demyelination disorders. It should also be noted that even music and falling in love have been studied for possibly stimulating neurogenesis, regeneration, and or repair of neurons, indicating that the regenerative medicine does not necessarily require the ingestion of anything, Rather, a wide range of therapeutic actions may be employed to improve health and well-being as well. Liver regeneration. Glycerizine, a compound found within licorice and which we recently featured as powerful anti-SARS virus agent, has been found to stimulate the regeneration of liver mass and function in the animal model of hepatectomy. Other liver regenerative substances include carvacrol, curcumin, Korean ginseng, ruibos, and vitamin E. Beta cell regeneration. Unfortunately, the medical community has yet to harness the diabetes-reversing potential of natural compounds. Whereas expensive stem cell therapies, islet cell transplants, and an array of synthetic drugs in the developmental pipeline are the focus of billions of dollars of research, annually, our kitchen cupboards and backyards have already contained the long-sought-after cure for type 1 diabetes. The following compounds have been demonstrated experimentally to regenerate the insulin-producing beta cells, which are destroyed in insulin-dependent diabetes and which once restored may restore the health of the patient to the point where they no longer require insulin replacement. Commonly found compounds such as Gemena sivistre, nigella sativa, vitamin D, curcumin, arginine, avocado, berberine, bitter melon, chard, corn silk, stevia, and silverophane. Hormone regeneration. There are secretagogues, which increase the endocrine glands ability to secrete more hormone and there are substances that truly regenerate hormones which have degraded into potentially carcinogenic transient hormone metabolites. One of those substances is vitamin C. A powerful electron donor, this vitamin has the ability to contribute electrons to resurrect the form and function of estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone, for instance. In tandem with foods that are able to support the function of glands, such as the ovaries, vitamin C may represent an excellent complement or alternative to hormone replacement therapy. Cardiac cell regeneration. Not too long ago, it was believed that the cardiac tissue was uniquely incapable of being regenerated. A new but rapidly growing body of experimental research now indicates that this is simply not true, and there is a class of heart tissue regenerating compounds known as neocardiogenic substances. These substances are able to stimulate the formation of cardiac progenitor cells, which can differentiate into healthy heart tissue, and they include the following. Resveratrol, Siberian ginseng, red wine extract, GM japonicum, and and acetylcysteine. Another remarkable example of cardiac cell regeneration is through what is known as fetal maternal trafficking of stem cells through the placenta. In a recent article, we discussed the amazing process known as fetal microchimerism, by which the fetus contributes stem cells to the mother, which are capable of regenerating her damaged heart cells and possibly a wide range of other cell types. Cartilage, joint, spine regeneration. 
Curcumin and resveratrol have been shown to improve recovery from spinal cord injury. Over a dozen other natural compounds hold promise in this area. As far as degenerative joint disease, there are a broad range of potentially regenerative substances, with 50 substances listed on the GreenMedInfo.com osteoarthritis research page. Ultimately, regenerative medicine threatens to undermine the very economic infrastructure that props up the modern, drug-based, and quite candidly degenerative medical system. Symptom suppression is profitable because it guarantees both perpetuation of the original underlying disease and the generation of an ever-expanding array of additional, treatment-induced symptoms. This is the non-sustainable, infinite growth model which shares features that are characteristic of the process of cancer itself, a model which by its very nature is doomed to fail and eventually collapse. Cultivating diets, lifestyles, and attitudes conducive to bodily regeneration can interrupt this pathological circuit and help us to attain the bodily freedom that is a precondition for the liberation of the human soul and spirit as well. This is Cameron Fillers from GreenManInfo.com. Thanks for joining us for another audio article. Make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date on all of our releases.